Oh yes, it is that time of the year again. It's the Truck Series Chase time. Yes, the Truck Series Chase starts this weekend as we still question why the hell the Truck Series still has a chase format. Like seriously, it's the same length as fucking Arca, and yet Arca gets a season-long points format and the Truck Series does it. That's kind of fucking dumb. But yeah, and of course, as much as I fucking hate this format with a burning passion, especially after the bullshit we saw in trucks last year at Phoenix, where the fans don't want what will happen at Phoenix, but NASCAR, they like what they saw there, because of course they do, for PR reasons, and it's exactly what NASCAR wanted, and that's why nothing's ever going to change. And I'll be honest, any, any fan that actually wants what happened at Phoenix last year to be a yearly thing, those fans gotta be the dumbest fuckers on planet Earth. But of course, it's tradition that we do this grid, uh, chase grid predictions for for the, every year for the chase. And as much as I fucking hate this, I'm going to swallow my pride. And we're going to take a look at the Truck Series chase at the grid. So, here are the 10 drivers that do battle for the Truck Series chase this year for the Trucks title. So, let's go over all 10. So, starting off, Corey Heim, the best driver in trucks all year. Just He's pretty much been as good, if not better, than he was last year. Just consistent, fast, pretty much the whole nine yards. Pretty much anything I said about Corey Heim last year, you could literally put it here and it'd be a valid argument. Like, it's literally copy-paste from last year. It's like, he's as good, if not better, than last year. Like, in terms of race winning speed, a lot better this year. I believe he's won, like, four or five races this year, which, damn... Like, Corey Heim, 100%. He's on a mission this year to get back that Truck Series title he was fucked out of last year. And, you know, with the speed he's had this year, I think this might be the year he finally gets back that Trucks title he was screwed out of. And, of course, the next driver we got, Christian Eckes, the regular season Truck Series champion. As he's actually had one of the best seasons of his career, easily the number two driver in Trucks. It's still kind of crazy how he won the regular season title this year. Because I think he's a paper regular season champion. Because <coughs> let's be honest. Anybody with half a fucking brain knows the best driver in trucks this year is easily Corey Heim. Like, I don't know how the hell Eckes ended up winning the regular season champion. Like, I think stage points definitely played a factor in that one. That and I believe Heim getting disqualified at Charlotte also played a factor too. But yeah, Akis got some wins. Easily the second best driver in trucks this year. Like, easily Akis is having a breakout season. There have been some rumors about an your Cup ride for him in the future, but I think, like, Heim, Akis' future is definitely bright. Next up, we got the short track merchant, Ty Majeski. As Majeski's actually the hottest driver going into the Truck Series chase. As he's entered the Truck Series chase, winning the last two Truck Series races of the reg truck's regular season. Which, that is pretty impressive, even though both wins were on short tracks. But Majeski, you know, he's got momentum, and he's got hot in the right time. And, you know, you need, you want to have momentum if you want to win the championship and make it in the far in the trucks chase. And he has the momentum to do it. And keep in mind, Phoenix is technically a short track. So if Majeski can make the Final Four, he could definitely be have a shot at this title under the right circumstances. Since it's right up Majeski's wheelhouse. Next up, Nick Sanchez. Nick Sanchez is finally breaking out. It's finally becoming the driver everyone hyped him up to be from his days in Arca. As he started the year off winning Daytona, which, okay, I mean, it's a super speedway. It's kind of a crapshoot. Super speedway wins aren't really impressive anymore because it's a because super speedways are a total crapshoot and it's all luck based now. But hey, at least Sanchez's win at Charlotte was pretty legit. So yeah, there's that. Sanchez has had some pretty good consistent speed. Like easily, easily Sanchez is taking that next step after last year getting his feet wet in trucks. When he made the trucks chase last year as a rookie and actually had a deep run in the trucks chase. So Sanchez really doing some good things this year. You know, I think I think if Sanchez really plays his cards right, I think Sanchez 100% can make the final four this year, no doubt. So yeah. Next up we have Raja Karuth. As well, Raja, he gave everyone in all the joy in the world when he exposed when he helped expose Ultimate 23 Karen for being an absolute racist. And then added salt to uh, insult to injury by winning Vegas and making Ultimate 23 Karen quit Twitter. So yeah, Raja Karuth he had that win and after since that win 
Then what? Like, ever since Karut got that win at Vegas, just Roger Karut has been very inconsistent this year. Just Roger Karut, just, you know, ever since the win, he's just been very inconsistent this year. I mean, that was like the only positive, but since then, it's kind of like gone downhill for him. Like, like, I, like Karuth, at, at the start of the year, it looked like Karuth maybe could have been a title contender. But the last couple months, he's just been very inconsistent coming into the chase. Just completely cold, and unless that 71 team has been sandbagging ever since they got that win at, um, at Vegas. But yeah, Karuth, but yeah, I think Roger Karuth was in consistency. He's easily got to be one of the biggest boom or bust drivers entering the trucks chase. Like, this goes one of two ways. Either A, he's going to be out, or he's, he's either going to make the Final Four, or B, he'll be out with the early in the trucks chase. And I really don't think there's an in-between option. So, so, yeah, as much as I like Raja, there are definitely a lot of concerns entering the trucks chase for him, and it's kind of justified. Next up, Grant Envinger. Envinger with the team that he should have made the trucks chase with in 2021. But got denied a waiver in one of the rare times where NASCAR decided not to hand out waivers like candy. But this time, Enfinger and the team have sponsorship and they were able to make it work. And Enfinger was pretty consistent coming into the trucks chase. Like, he's been pretty good consistent, but he just hasn't had race winning speed. And consistency under this format will only take you so far. I mean, hey, if Enfinger can get a win somewhere... I think he possibly could make the trucks final four. Maybe have a deep run in the trucks chase. Next up, Tyler Ankrum. As Ankrum is finally back in the trucks chase for the first time since 2019. When he made the trucks chase as a rookie and got that waiver when he couldn't run the full season in 2019 because he wasn't 18 yet. This time he was able to make it in on points without the bullshit winning your ring gimmick. Actually, oddly enough here... Out of all ten drivers in the trucks chase, there were no bullshit winners in the. There were no. There were nobody got in off the bullshit winning in stipulation. Like the actually the entire truck series chase consisted of the entire top ten in trucks points. So hey, nobody got robbed this year. We actually have the ten best drivers. So I die just point that out there real quick. Sets we're on Ankrum. But yeah, Ty, Tyler Ankrum. You know he's been pretty disappointing since 2019 all the way to now. But Ankrum has had some speed. He's had some consistency. Maybe has kind of fallen off. Has had some moments where he was a little inconsistent at times. But was able to do enough to make the truck series chase. And, may, and who knows? Maybe he can go deep. Maybe he can get away at the right time. Maybe he can make the final four. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Next up, Taylor Gray. I mean, there was quite a lot of hype for Taylor Gray from his days in Arca. But he has not really lived up to it except this year. I mean, Taylor Gray had a pretty solid year and was able to make the trucks chase on points pretty convincingly. Mainly getting stage points in stage one and at Richmond to lock himself in. I, Taylor Gray has taken that next step forward after having a pretty much an off rookie season. But has taken that next step forward and has made the truck series chase. You know, I don't know what the expectations are for Taylor Gray, but they're pretty well. Like, this is easily just getting a feet wet year, just getting the chase. At least get get used to the format and come back stronger next year. Next up, Ben Rhodes, the two-time Mickey Mouse Truck Series champion. Even though a lot of fans will argue about 2021 being legitimate, I disagree. I think Nemechek was better in 2021. But everyone agrees that, that Ben Rhodes Truck Series title last year was complete bullshit. Because of how much of a shit show Phoenix was last year. And he just happened to be the last man standing in all of it. And Ben Rhodes has made the Truck Series chase once again. And he has done absolutely nothing. Like, if anything, he's even worse than he was last year. Like, last year he had one win and did the bare minimum, just bullshit his way in, and did the absolute minimum to back into the championship last year. And even though Ben Rhodes has been complete ass this year, we can't doubt Ben Rhodes because he could do the because we all know he if he could do the bare minimum and be the last man standing, he can do something in this truck series chase. And then the final driver we have in the trucks chase that got the tenth spot, Daniel Die, the nut buster. It's kind of crazy how much a difference two years can make. Because two years ago, he he got suspended indefinitely by ARCA for a, for a few weeks. 
after he but after he ruptured a kid's testicles in a fight in high school. And two years later, he's in the truck series chased uh, after he busted so many drivers some um, hopes and dreams of competing for a truck's title at Richmond. And now Daniel Dye, he's looking to bust nine other drivers' hopes and dreams of making the truck series chase. Let's be honest, does anyone really have any expectations for the Nutcracker? I don't. Like, I'll be honest, like, I think I think Daniel Dye, he's been pretty inconsistent at times this year. Like, I think there are a couple of drivers that missed the trucks chase, I think, that are better, that were better than him. But just got, but just fell short. Like, I think Daniel Dye, he's definitely just learning the format. Like, for Daniel Dye, his, ho his hopes are going to get cracked themselves. Are going to get busted themselves because Daniel Dye, he's an easy first round elimination. And his nuts are going to like it because that's nuts. So anyway, that is the 2024 Truck Series Chase Field in a nutshell. So now let's go through the round one for the Truck Chase. So our round one, the round of 10, we have Milwaukee, Bristol, and Kansas. Out of these 10, who will make it to the round of eight? So on the screen here, here are the eight drivers I have advanced into the round of eight for the Truck Series Chase. And of course, as you see, the way I have the race winners highlighted in red. So yeah, so let's go through the winners. So for Milwaukee, I got Milwaukee going to Christian Eckes. You know, just Milwaukee has somewhat of a similar configuration to like a Homestead or um uh on darlington it's a very flat track like it's kind of criminal that the cup series doesn't come here i mean for fuck's sakes indycar is coming back to milwaukee like if indycar can run at milwaukee the cup series sure as hell can no excuses but yeah Eckes, i think he gets the win plus Eckes has been pretty good on one mile track so i got Eckes there bristol i got majeski winning bristol because majeski's pretty good at bristol plus Bristol's a short track, and Ty Majeski is a truck series short track merchant, so it makes sense. And then Kansas, I got Kansas going to Corey Heim, because Heim has just been an absolute beast everywhere we go. And I think Corey Heim does get a win in the trucks chase at some point. I think Kansas is a good one, because he's had pretty good speed on mile and a half. So I got Kansas to Corey Heim, and I got Nick Sanchez, Roger Carruth, Grant Anfinger, Tyler Ankrum, and Taylor Gray all advancing to the sec to the round of eight on points. So the two drivers I don't have moving on, I don't have Ben Rhodes moving on to the to the first to the second round. Yes, I have the reigning truck series champion out in the first round. Like Ben Rhodes has been complete ass all year. He got a couple good runs to get him up there, but he's just been complete ass all year. Like he's worse than he was last year. I don't think Ben Rhodes does have to will do anything this year. I think Ben Rhodes will be out in the first round. And I don't have Daniel Dye moving on to the first round. Just Daniel Dye's kind of just happy to be even be in the truck chase. And I think he just does not have enough to compete into the second round. So yeah, I have Rhodes and Dye both out in the first round. So that so these are the eight drivers I have moving on to the second round. So now the round of eight, we have Talladega, Homestead, and Marnesville. Out of these eight drivers. Who do I have advancing to the Truck Series Final Four? A.K.A. Which four drivers am I jinxing this year because I never learned my lesson? So, here are the four drivers I have here. And if you noticed, I actually have only two winners highlighted in this round. Because I have nobody listed for Talladega. Because for Talladega, usually every year since like 2018 or 2019, one of those two years, the truck series race at Ta the chase race at Talladega has been won by a non-chaser. And from about 2019 to 2022, it has usually been a first time winner up until last year when Brett Moffitt won a Dega. And even though Brett Moffitt, that wasn't a first time winner, it was still a non-chase winner. So I think once again, I think Talladega will be won by a non-chaser. And for my pick, I think it's pretty obvious who I'm picking for this. I'm picking Matt Crafton to win the truck's chase race at Dega. Like, it's a total crapshoot. You can literally throw names on a dartboard to see what sticks, and it would be a valid pick for Talladega. Plus, at the start of the year, I said Matt Crafton would break his winless truck's winless streak and win a truck's race this year. 
And I'm sticking with that prediction. Even though he crafted didn't make the chase, that prediction could still happen if he wins one of the last seven races. And I think Dega's his best bet to win a trucks race this year. So I got Matt Crafton winning Talladega. So I do think it'll be a non-chaser. And I think that non-chaser is going to be Matt Crafton. In terms of the other races, though. Homestead, I got Homestead going to Nick Sanchez. Sanchez has had some pretty good speed on mile and a half. I think he capitalized. Then I think Sanchez will make the final four. And really take that next step forward. So I got Sanchez winning Homestead. I have Martinsville going to Ty Majeski because Majeski is the short track merchant in the truck series. So it makes sense that Majeski wins Martinsville. So I have Majeski in. And I got Corey Heim and Christian Eckes in on point. So the four drivers I don't have moving on. I don't have Roger Carruth moving on to the final four. Um, I just think Roger Carruth is too inconsistent this year. And I think that inconsistency is going to bite him in the ass. Grant Enfinger, I just don't think he has enough speed to get into the Final Four this year. Plus, I think something happens at Dega. Tyler Ankrum, I don't think he moves on. I think something happens to him at Dega. He gets in, like, the big one, and I think that's going to put him in a hole he can't dig out of. And at Taylor Gray, probably same deal with Ankrum. I think something happens to him at Dega or Homestead, and I think that puts him in a hole he can't dig out of. So, yeah, this is my Truck Series Final Four. Nick Sanchez, Ty Majeski, Corey Heim, and Christian Eckes. So out of these four, who do I think will win the Truck Series Championship for 2024? So the Truck Series Final Four I have, it's a pretty good Final Four. I think it would put on a really good show at Phoenix for the championship. Like Sanchez, Majeski, Heim, and Eckes, they've been the four best drivers all year in trucks. But in the end, in terms of experience, well, Ty Majeski, he ha he most he's a short track merchant. But Phoenix is a one mile track, and Majeski's kind of been a merchant on tracks like three quarters of a mile or shorter. So, and I think something happens to Majeski in the finale that will take him out of contention for it. Uh, Nick Sanchez, um, he did real he hasn't really shown a whole lot on the short tracks, so I'm not really sold on him. I really think this championship comes down between Corey Heim and Christian Eckes. I mean, Heim has had speed everywhere we go. Eckes won at this race a year ago, but I mean, it's pretty easy to win at Phoenix when you're not in the Final Four, when you have nothing to lose. So you got that to keep that in mind. So yeah, even though Eckes won this race, it's it's very hard to win at a track two years in a row. And especially the difference when you when last year you had nothing to lose when you won versus this year when you have everything to lose. But in terms of my championship pick, oh, why the hell am I hyping this up? It's pretty obvious who I'm picking. It's Corey Heim. I've taken Heim time to win the trucks title this year. It's his championship to lose. Like, I think Corey Heim gets redemption for last year after he got fucked over in the finale last year. It got fucked over by this bullshit format. I think this year, I think Corey Heim gets redemption. And I think he finally gets that Truck Series title that he was robbed of a year ago. And Heim wins the 2024 Truck Series Championship. And with him winning the championship, it also raises the question. Why the hell is Riley Herbst getting the Cup Series ride over Corey Heim for 2311? Like, honestly... Corey Himes should get that third 2311 car, not Riley Herbs. Like, that's kind of bullshit. But yeah, that set up. But yeah, anyway, though, that settles my Truck Series Chase Predictions video. See, so yeah, I got Corey Heim won in a 2024 Truck Series title this year. But anyway, that'll wrap it up here. That's all I got to say. Hope Bremer's a great day, and I'll see you all later. I'm out. Now watch me be completely wrong after the first round.